Hello everyone, time for a stream. Look here, look at this. 3D printer's working away. Let me know if it's too noisy, hopefully it's not. If it is, I'll just cancel the print and fire, restart it later. So let me know if it's too noisy. Uh, Dennis is with us, Robert's with us, uh, Hans is with us, David's with us. Hello fellas, how's things all right? Apparently we've got eight people, so if you're here, Bob's with us. Hello Bob, how's things mate? All right, good, wicked, lovely. If you're here, drop your name. This is going to be a biggie. Okay? A biggie. Pumped for this one. I'm pumped for all of them. But what are you printing? I'm printing a fan cover for this little area in here. Um, there's a fan cover that you can print to keep the dust out. So I'm printing that. I figured, why not? Um, this afternoon, I'm going to have a bit of a play with different apps and that sort of thing and design something myself, okay? Even if it's like just a BCRC logo or something. Ray's with us. Hello, Ray. How are you, mate? So, uh, Charles is with us. Yo, I'm fresh from the dentist. You poor bastard. You're right, mate. All right, is everything all right? Yeah? Um, so, big stream today. Biggie. The big reveal. The next giveaway. Okay? Now, before we even start, I heard from Element last night. I heard from Element last night. So they got my deets. Um, I've just I've got to wait to hear from them again so I can pay them. And we will have the Element trucks. Okay? So as of right now, I don't know if we're going to do the Element first or the PG4L first. It depends how quick Element gets back to me. So can confirm I have heard from Element and it seems that we're, we're going to be pretty good to go. It's just a matter of when. So awesome. Pumped about that. Uh, Rob, my 3D printer is printing away too. It's pretty cool. Once you nut it out, like, um, I guess probably the hardest, but the instructions aren't brilliant for those printers, if I'm honest. People say cross instructions can be bad, but those instructions are pretty shy. Um, other than that, I mean, it's not too bad. Once you figure out how to level your bed and stuff properly and whatever else, I do think that they should have a how-to manual in the box instead of just doing stuff online. I know for the majority, you're going to be online to have something to do with your printer anyway, but it should be in, the, should be in, a, in a book. You know, this is how you do this. This is how you level your bed. Quick and easy text with a couple of pictures, done. Instead of having to go onto the interwebs, find the thing, read through the crappy pictures that are on their page to get to the thing. So if anyone from Creality watches this, put your stuff in a book. Brian Potts has joined us. Uh, Robert agrees with me. The instructions are a bit shy. Yeah, they are. Like, yeah, I was just, as I was putting it together, I was like, the, the quality of the machine is fantastic. It really is. It, it goes together really well too. It's just the instructions make it harder than it needs to be to put together, basically. But we're winning. Quick check on my phone, see if anyone's good, no one's pestering me. Lovely. Um, I'll say the same thing I always say. If you'd like to donate, there's a link in the description below. Donations go towards postage, trucks, prizes, competitions, all those sorts of things. This is just a bit of an in-between goal at the moment. Um, obviously, normally. Rytex, join us. Hello, mate. What's your first name, buddy? I like to try and get to know everyone by their first name. Um, generally speaking, when we've got a goal, it's for a truck. So we can give a truck away. So what we're going to do is, in-between trucks, we're just going to do a BCRC goal. If you want to donate, it's very much appreciated. I don't expect anyone to donate, but if you if you want to, awesome. Um, Ryan, lovely. I'll do my best to remember Ryan. Um, Hans, they're trying to save paper. Besides, it would be uh, probably double in Dutch China. <laughs> Bloody hell, Hans. You're a cracker. I mean, when it comes down to it, the, the printer, mine was, I think, 339 I'd pay an extra five bucks for a decent instruction manual. Honestly, it's just that was the only real letdown of putting the thing together. Um, the menu is a bit simplified on the machine, but I guess it's a, a cheap printer. Three hundred and thirty something dollars, still not cheap, but a lot cheaper than when they first came out. Um, so anyway, like the stream. We've currently got fourteen people. Give it a share. Let's see if we can smash it up to twenty. And if we hit twenty, we'll tell them all to share it. And we'll see if we can smash thirty, so forth and so on. This is a big stream. You, you guys are going to want to watch this, and lots of people will too, because we're unboxing a truck today. We're revealing the next giveaway. 
in the next few days in Verdon's Custom RC Builds, which is a Facebook group. If you haven't joined it, join it. You've got to join it to be in the giveaways. <clears throat> Bob's with us. Hi, Bob. How's things, mate? All right. Um, in the next few days, we're going to do some more polls in the group to figure out, again, how many spaces, um, donation amount for entries, that sort of stuff. For the, for the first few giveaways, that's what we're going to do. And then after that, almost probably just decide. So just that way I can get a good idea of what you guys are happy with. And then I can go forward from there with my own discretion, as it were. <laughs> so give us some shares. Let's crank these numbers up to 20 at least. And then and then I'll, we'll, we'll get into it. BJ is with us. X thing. X thing. X thing. Bear with me, man. I know it. I know this one. <laughs> I hate not remembering people's names. I want to say Ben. Ben usually writes his name, though. Ben's dad. Close enough. I'll take it. <laughs> John. John Davies. Correct? I hope I'm correct. Um, so yes, it's, it's all go here. It's all go. We're up to 15. Five more to go. If we can hit 20, I'll just grab the box out and we'll rip into it. We'll just start unboxing. Now with this particular unboxing, um, it's been donated by Mr. David Foster. So if we can all give David Foster a round of applause, absolute bloody champion of a bloke. He's donated this giveaway. Um with a few little conditions. I've got to unbox it, review it. I've got to take it out and film it. <clears throat> um, and then give it away. Do I have to recycle my cardboard collection? Uh, look, at some stage, we'll do some more... <clears throat> we'll do some more cardboard builds and stuff like that, Rob. <laughs> um, so, yeah, massive thank you to David. It's just epic, mate. The, the amount of... The amount of kind-hearted people in BCRC is just crazy. Uh, Kazuna, that's my dad. Go, dad. Blow. Um, what's your first name, Kazunas? We try to we try to do first name basis around here, just you know, because that's what we do. <clears throat> so I've got to, I've got to review the truck, unbox it, like I said, take it out and film it. Now what I'm going to do, Tiffany, thanks for joining us, Tiffany. Much appreciated. Uh, Dave says, hello, child of mine. <laughs> it's cool that we can have dads and their kids and whatnot in here. It's awesome. We're a family group. So, welcome to the mob, Tiffany. I do believe you're in BCRC, actually, if I'm correct. You joined the other day. <clears throat> um, also, so once I, I, once I drive it and film it and all that fun stuff, I'm going to smash a set of beadlock wheels on. I don't know which ones yet. I've got a few to choose from, so I'm going to smash a set of beadlock wheels on it. Yes, you're in the group. Awesome. Awesome stuff. What are we up to? It says 14. I've got a feeling I've got more than that because there's like more than 14 different commenters I can see on my little list over here. Who's pumped up for the giveaway? Who's pumped up for the big reveal? I'm so pumped. Lucky bastards. <laughs> lucky, lucky people. Can't thank you enough, Dave. It's just epic. Epic, epic, epic. I'm going to do a teaser. Okay, that's not the truck on the T-shirt. <laughs> this is this is the teaser. Okay, something that the person that wins this giveaway will be getting this T-shirt. Who's excited now? Now we've got to also we also got to thank Mr. Robert Mazza for his generosity. Bob Patterson's so pumped that he may explode. <laughs> Try. Try and keep it in, man. Try and keep it in. Now, you you guys are lucky because I was so tempted just to pinch this T-shirt. I haven't got one of these ones yet. I haven't got one of these shirts yet, and I want one. So, I need one of these shirts. So that's the that's the uh, the first little teaser there. So um, 
Do you, do you think people are going to want to see what we've got in the box? What else have we got in this box over here? Hmm. Let's have a look and see. <clears throat> oh. Why well, look, it's a massive cross decal. Bob, ooh, had me excited there for a minute. Mate, be excited. Trust me. Look, big ass cross decal. You're lucky that's not going on one of my walls here. That's bigger than the one I've got. Is it? Oh, I might be the same. I hope the shirt is 4XL. If if someone gets the truck and the shirt we have isn't to their size, I'll keep this one and we'll send you another one. Because that shirt's my size. So you're lucky, okay? I could have just gone, oh, look, Rob sent me a T-shirt. <laughs> Funny buggers. What else have we got in here? Oh, look, we've got more cross decals. Focus. Look, cross decals. With little number plate size decals for trucks. And then we've got... These are good for scale garages. Look at this. Cross RC US. South Australia written on it. It's like we're the South Australian division of Cross RC US. Which makes no sense because we're not in the US. But it's still awesome anyway because check them out. That's awesome. So there's four of those, and they're they're metals. But you can hear it now. Hans, I'll be good with the two XL. That one's an XL. So fingers crossed, whoever wins is bigger than an XL. I get a free T-shirt. <laughs> so we've got some decals there. How many people have liked the stream? Hold your hand up if you'd like the stream. Hold your hand up if you've shared it. Shares and likes are important. I know I'm probably irritating the crap out of you people. Uh, Ryan is now watching on his phone and PC. He's that pumped. He's watching it twice. That's dedication. Angus has joined us. Uh, that's awesome. And they're metal. Yes, they are. They're bigger than your standard um, scale number plate, but they're still cool. Ray's with us. Oh, sorry, I said hello to Ray before. My bad. Phone is faster. It's usually the way these days, isn't it? I've got to update my lappy. I've got to update my lappy. How's my print going? 48% pumping it out. Pretty happy. I've just plugged it in. I mean, I'm about to build it. Plugged it in, and it's just the quality of print is pretty, pretty Mickey Mouse. Check out this little fella. Printed him last night. Uh, let's go close up cam because we can. Will you focus? Look at this little guy. Printed this little fella last night. I'm pretty happy with that quality for the first print. Webcams don't like stuff like that. He's probably not in focus. But printed this little dude out last night. It took three hours. So printed him out. He's cool. What? Aren't you the Aussie RC Cross Distribution Centre? You'd think so with the amount of cross trucks I've got sitting behind me, mate. <laughs> uh, right, Dick, that's a great 3D dog. Honestly, I'm pretty stoked with the quality of it. I'm going to hand paint it and see what it comes up like hand painted. Cute little fella. Um, Rover, let's call him Rover. He can be he can be one of the mascots for the stream. So, pretty bloody happy, honestly. It's, it's one of those things, you spend 300-something dollars, you... It's iffy if you don't know, you know, if it's something that you're not used to dealing with. Look at me stretching the crap out of this, eh? Alright. There's only one more thing in, in the box. And that's another box. Okay? I'm going to have a swig of my iced coffee, because that's what we do here. And then, I hope you guys are sitting down. Because it's a biggie. Hans. Uh, have phone tuned in as well with the sound off so I can donate without missing any of the stream. Hans, you're a bloody good bloke, mate. You're so dedicated to the cause. It's happening! Whew! I'm gonna hit... <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me. Brian's lying down, probably a good thing because the excitement of this may well cause heart attacks. Um, right, I'm gonna hit B right back and I'm gonna... I'm going to do some stuff, and I'm going to come back to the stream, and then there's going to be something here. Mmm.
Oh my god! What do you think of that? That's right, kids. Thanks to the unbelievable, the unbelievable charity, uh, charity, not charity, what's the word I'm looking for? Bloody Nora. The word's there somewhere. It'll come to me in 10 minutes. You watch it. I'll just randomly say a word. The, the unbelievable kindness, I guess, and generosity. That's the word. Generosity of Mr. David Foster. We are going to be giving away a Cross RC FR4 RTR because of Dave. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Oh. That, that's the word. Because you guys, you're like, you're in here. Look at yourself. This is what we're going to be giving away next. This is the next giveaway. And it's just, words can't express how thankful I am to have people like Dave in the group that just go above and beyond. I mean, Dave contacted me a little while ago now and said, um, are you going to get one of the RTRs? And I was like, at some stage, I'd really like to. And he said, well, I want, to, I want to send you one so you can unbox it, review it, and then give it away. And I was like, holy shit, Dave. Like, are you sure, mate? That's that's pretty epic. And he's like, "Yep, I've organised it." And literally, I think the next day he went and seen went and seen Rob and sent it, which is just bloody crazy. Uh, next best thing. Hey, I'm just joining. Glad to see Aussie has my FR4. Oh god. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm a bit jealous. Okay. I want one of these for myself. Now, I know I've got four demons, but I want one, okay? <laughs> I want one. And, like, it's just... I can't thank you enough, David, seriously. Touches the heart, mate. You might need another shot of whiskey. Don't joke. Oh, dear. Hans has donated 20. Says, there you go, another 20. You're, you're a bloody gentleman, Hans. Seriously, mate. Bloody gentlemen. Rest assured, any donations and such that come in today, etc., will go to shipping this out, um, bead locks, etc. Depending on what tyres I've got. I know I've got tyres in the mail. These tyres are pretty good. But they, I assume they're already going to be glued. So um, I may smash some new tyres on it as well. We're gonna. Whoever wins this truck is not just getting a normal F, uh, a normal. FR4 RT, they're getting a truck with be you know nice metal bead locks and some new tyres. I may custom the paint a bit, etc. It's going to be a one-off. RC Australian Adventures, we're unboxing this bad boy, the Cross RC FR4 RTR, um, and this is our next giveaway truck. So pumped about that. It's just, it's just awesome, man. Thank you, David. Dragon Models with us. Right, we must have more than 14 people. I think my view cams has stopped cooperating. So, FR4 BCRC Limited Edition. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, Alright. Because we're all, we're all part of the mob here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a set of wheels I'm thinking about putting on this. And you let me know if you think it's a good choice. Uh, open up my drawer of many wheels. Go closer. What do you think? What do you reckon? These wheels on this truck. For those that don't know, oh, we've got a new subscriber, Right Tech. Ryan has subscribed. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome to the mob. Are they 3.2s? No. These are the Cross RC. FR4C CNC beadlocks. Okay? So I can smash those on there. I've got the hubcaps here for them somewhere. <laughs> I know I've got them. So I'll smash these on there. They're decent weighted beadlocks. Um, I've got tyres coming in the mail. So I'll suss it out. I'll, I'll speak with the winner. I mean, if the winner's got tyres that they'd prefer to run, I can just put these in a bag and put them in the box and then the winner can just mount their own tyres to these, should they want to do that. But, essentially, we're going to turn this into a BCRC limited edition FR4, one of one. One of one. And if, it probably means nothing to some people, but some people have asked me in the past, 
you want me to sign it, I'll sign it. I've had people ask me to sign stuff before, I don't know why, but if you want me to, I'll sign it. John A was here. <laughs> Scribble. <laughs> so yes, I really quite like those wheels. They're, they're bloody gorgeous for factory wheels. Okay. Some details. First things, we've got the dimensions on the side of the box here. Okay. For those wondering, uh, the biggest question usually, what's the wheelbase? 305 millimetres. Now that's easily changeable um, with cross spaces, etc. You can change that to suit any other body, etc. you want to put on it. Something to keep in mind too. Um, Jay, I need some BCRC number plates. If you buy the BCRC decal sheet, there is decal number plates on said sheet. Um, I want a kangaroo on it. On the BCRC decal sheet, <laughs> there's a kangaroo road sign. You can put a road sign on it with some bullet holes. Anyway, um, dimensions. It's 460 millimetres long. Uh, good idea having BCRC limited edition. That's a bloody, that's not a bad idea. I want to, I, obviously I don't want to try, I don't want to drag out how long it takes to get this truck shipped out. But if I can, I'll see if I can maybe print up a small BCRC logo that I can put on the body or something like that. That'd be cool. Don't care what you paint on it, I'm not picky. Penises! <laughs> anyway okay track width is 190 tires are 45 mil wide it's got 41 uh, 41 mil clearance the approach angle of uh, the approach angle 73 degrees um, I can put some of my number plates on it I believe I've got some decals here so I'll put some of my number plates on it I'll do a few little touches just to try and make it that little bit yeah, drive it home and it's a it's not just your standard. No Brian, no. No truck nuts. Oh I can't stand those things. <laughs> Print a plate for the Yes! Yes, see this is this is why we're all such a great bunch of people. Look at these ideas. I'll personally design a number plate holder and I've oh gotta hope this works. A number plate holder. Put it on the truck, front and rear. The rear might even have us. Actually, the rear's already got one. Um, on the front, etc., and so on. Yeah, I don't like the. I don't like the truck nuts, man. Saying penises is still PG friendly. It was funny. <laughs> I'll sign it. Who was the one that said put it whatever you want on it? Ryan. To Ryan, thanks for watching. Have some penis and just dropping penises all over the truck. <laughs> All right. So even even I love the box art. Look at how good does that look? RTR editions. Items required: two or three S lipo, so it's three S compatible. Comes with a T plug, which is a Dean's. Uh, you need your battery charger, obviously, and your batteries for the controller. Wildlife Expedition four x four. And this is the blue one. For those wondering, that's that's the colour it is. I just I love these trucks. Waterproof. So it's got the ten sixty, the ten sixty um, hobby wing ASC in it. Can't go wrong. Ten sixty ASC from Hobby Wing. Uh, it's got the full light kit. Yes. It's got full light kit with marker lights as well. 13.5 kilogram servo. That's not bad. I'm, I didn't, honestly, I had no idea what servo was in these trucks. It's, I forgot to look at it. But 13.5 kilo servo. Precision G2 axles. I like the G2s. Uh, what have we got? Four drive system with optimized motor and gearbox position. So forward motor mount. Uh, CVD metal drive shafts. Awesome, so we've got metal drive shafts, we've got metal links too, I believe. Low center of gravity battery tray, metal links front and rear, full in fenders. There's optional parts. As you see over here, optional parts. Oh, look, the wheels I'm going to put on it are optional parts. Uh, Michael, as they say, shut up and take my money. Right? 
uh, all these specs and I'm talking about tire covers it comes with it comes with the, the fake spare on the back um, I mean I'll show you obviously when I get it out of the box but this is the FR4C okay this is I found that bar by the way this is the FR4C this is the fancy high-end version this is the FR4 which is essentially the base version the only differences I can really see are the the metal gearbox case the metal trans case if you want to change those they're actually really cheap just to get the cases from crossrc.us um, this come with metal bead locks yours is gonna anyway but the factory one comes with plastic glue on wheels um, the FR4C comes with all this roof cage stuff, the snorkel, everything. So far as I can tell, the factory FR4 RTR just comes with the mirrors. Obviously, you've still got your full detailed grille. And it appears that you, you get this, which is a whole lot better than putting a full-size spare tire in the back of your truck. Because it weighs nothing. I'm so pumped. Uh, Michael, gotta go. Can't wait to watch this back later. See you, buddy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Alright. Let's not faff about anymore. Check that. Oh, people are messaging me everywhere. I'll join once you get home. Load yada yada. Wipe all these out the way. I'll check that other crap later. Okay, let's not stuff around. Let's get her out of the box. Again, David, thank you. You're a bloody champion. Now, I'm going to try and do this as careful as possible. Because I want, I want when, when you get the truck, whoever wins it, so the RTR is all waterproof. So far as I can tell, yes. I've just got a triple double air, check the servos waterproof it probably said and I just I didn't read it doesn't say on that piece there we'll check I mean generally speaking what do we all do with RTRs we change the servos depending depending on all right here's a deal for you is depending on how much we do for the the entry donations um, depending on how much we do for that and how many each etc and how many spots if we have enough spots and we have the right sort of um, the right sort of bloody what's it called minimum donation I'll throw a year race and 20 kilo waterproof servo in it too okay what do you think of that because that way it's more of a uh. yeah sorry my brain's going 100 miles an hour okay so we open the box caution this is not a toy okay so if anyone says you're playing with toys you say no I'm not it says on the box I've got to do this is that clear enough for you to read this model is not a toy Okay, we're not playing with toys. We're playing with expensive scale models. Okay, open her up. Oh baby. It smells so new in there. I'm gonna set this box down here. Okay. We have first you gotta do this bit. The user manual for the RTR. Now I assume this is gonna have every single detail. It does. This is legit. You'll be cut on that truck later. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. Are you gonna ship stock parts too? If I throw if I throw a twenty kilo servo in it, I'll keep the thirteen point five. And that's only so I can use it as a gear changer or something like that. 
Um, the stock wheels and tyres will come with the truck. The, the servo is the only thing I'd take out. And that's only because obviously I'm putting a servo that's worth more than what's going in, in it. And we know it's 100% waterproof. I'll check in here and I'll check with Rob to see if the factory one's waterproof. Focus. Thank you. So, instruction book, which is essentially the equivalent of your manual to build a truck. This has got every single piece of information you can possibly need on building one of these trucks. So, should you break something and you need to know how to repair it, everything is in here. Lovely. And it's... Nice Jedi focus. That's what I do, man. You. Right. Remove that piece of cardboard. Here it is. There it is. That must be our controller. Your controller. I'm so jealous. All right. So why can I do this bag so that I can rebag it? Or is it taped like it's no one's business? I just want to try and do it so that when you get it, it's as new as possible, if that makes sense. Uh, good deal. Yeah, I just figure that way, I mean, it's a bit more of me in the truck, if that makes sense. You guys know I love my year racing servos um, I'll, I'll smash a year racing servo in it why not that's statement easy easy now okie dokes let's see if I can remove this bag God damn, that's a pretty blue. Oh my word. Okay, I'm jealous. <laughs> I don't know how well this this uh, webcam is going to capture the colour, but my gosh, look at that blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. That is a really, really pretty blue. Oh, I want that blue. <laughs> it's gorgeous. What do you think of that blue? That is stunning. And of course, you've got the awesome schmancy chrome grill. I love the chrome grills. I'm kind of curious how good the stock servo is. Well, when I take it out and film it, I will be using the stock servo. I won't change the servo until after I try the stock. That blue is bloody gorgeous. When I first seen the blue, I was like, oh, gee, I don't know. I've got to tell you, as far as RTR goes, you'd be hard pressed to find a better colour on the market, I reckon. That is stunning. I mean, the paint quality is Mickey Mouse. It's not, it's not uneven or anything like that anywhere. It's just a nice... Love, love me some cross tyres, they're good tyres. Check that bad boy out, would you? There's your spare tyre, dearly. I'll remove that that decal and put on a PCRC one. Uh, are there rear lights? No. This has decals for the lights. What you can do is... Let me just sit that there. God, that's pretty. You can get the FR4C light housings, which you should be able to see in the close-up cam there. I like the spare tire thing. It's just awesome, man. Like, it's that scarlet accessory that's... It's the scarlet accessory that doesn't weigh a lot, you know, and it helps with the look. Um, so you can see, this one's got the decals. This one's got the full light buckets. Now, if you speak to Robert at crossrc.us, he can get you these buckets. Cut out the hole, mount these bad boys in there, and then you can put rear lights in there too. I mean, they are seriously nice buckets, so 
that's probably something I'd look at. You could possibly get this chrome piece here for above the um, above the number plate. It's just I like that blue better than I like my my blue green. <laughs> for miles. So much better than the ones I throw there printed. Well I mean these are obviously injection molded. Um but just this is brilliant. Uh, that one. I honestly like this colour more than I like my own truck's colour. The swap bodies. <laughs> David, I have a set of chrome tail lights. The bloody oath, mate. David will send the winner a set of these chrome tail lights and bulbs. Have you got the clear lens, Dave? I suppose you have. They have a little clear lens that goes in there too. Um, that he'll send to the winner. That's epic of you, mate. Seriously. I mean, you've done enough, man. You don't have to do anything else. <laughs> really? Okay. I guess we better take the body off this beast and have a look. God, I love that blue. When I'm passionate about something, I'm passionate about it. So we've got our, we've got our mirrors with the truck and they're obviously rubber foldable mirrors, so you're not just going to snap them off. V8 badges on the side. Something else too, the FR4C has chrome strips along here. If you wish, obviously, cross RC US, you can put the chrome strips along here instead of the decals. But even the decals, I don't mind those. I don't mind them. Because that suspension feels good. Oh, so good. Okay. So if I'm correct, I can just unplug this here. And then unplug. Can I unplug that one? Yes. Unplug that there. As far as RTRs go, you'd be hard pressed to find a better body than these. Okay. Dennis, look what we're giving away next. This is this is for the Timberwolf Cross RC FR4 RTR. Check it out. You have the snorkel kit as well. Awesome dude. You're a bloody champion. They do look good with a snorkel, and it's actually really easy to mount the snorkel on these. The the legs and bodies have little indents, and you can see the little tiny little indents. Drill those out with a finger drill. One of these with a small drill bit in it. You drill those out, and then you can put your um, snorkel on, screw it in from behind, Mickey Mouse. That's gorgeous. Okay. This is the FR4 RTR chassis. Full in fenders, front and back, full side runners, the whole deal. Dennis is pumped. Let me just sit that, just sit that in there so it's not wobbling around. So we've got yeah, the 1060 waterproof ASC, which is already set to lipo. Forward brake reverse, I'm going to change that because you don't want forward brake reverse in a crawler. Is it set to that? Yes, you want. Uh, you want that off. I'll leave it in there. Whoever wins, take that top plug out. This is the this is what David donated for a giveaway, which is just epic. Check out underneath here, would you? Full metal links, metal drive shafts. It's just, it's just awesome. Metal steering links, metal shock bodies. And these shocks are some of the best you'll get. Oh my God. These have got different coils again. Cross is putting a lot of research into this stuff. Now I said about my, oh Jesus, they're good. <laughs> I've, I've always said the suspension on my FR4 is the best suspension I've had in any truck because the, the, the shocks have got so many coils on them, which means they do more, they react to more. Ryan, finger drill is my new favourite phrase. PG here, Ryan, just let you know. Dragon Motocross I see is awesome. I own one, the same truck he has in the back. Which, that one, or that one, or that one, or that one? <laughs> anyway. God, that's just delightful. Honestly, I'm, I'm pumped to drive it. And I, I know it sounds silly because I've got four demons, but those springs are different than mine. 
I'm not going to change the springs at all. I'm just going to drive it. Battery in, drive. And it's got a Dean's plug, so I can just plug my battery in and go. How heavy does it feel? Well, it's definitely more balanced towards the front, I can tell you that. And it's hard to tell. I'll get you the weight of it. I will get you the weight. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da. Anyone that's seen me messages, I'll get to them most probably after the stream. Uh, I'd love to do it now, but obviously, rest me busy. Those bed locks will look great on that. Um, it's a shame, honestly, it's a shame that these tyres come glued because these tyres are actually really nice. What I would suggest to whoever whoever wins this truck, this is the little hubcap, take that off, paint it black. There's a little bolt on piece in the middle of the wheel, take that off, paint it black. Satin black, okay? Not gloss, paint it satin black. Then mask up the wheel, paint the wheel silver, and then each one of these little bolts, paint black. Then put it all back together and thank me later because it'll just look epic. For a stock wheel, you, you can actually, there's a lot of options you can do with these to make them look look better. Uh, Hans, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put some money aside each week to save up for a Cross RC SG4C. Um, I just have to have one. I'm sick of drooling every time you show us another cross truck. <laughs> well, honestly, if I was to buy a new cross and it was gonna be a demon, and it'd either be the SP4 or the SU4C. The SU4C is so bloody good value for money, especially if you use the BCRC code, which gets you 70 US dollars off. That truck is so good value for money, they should be just driving out the door. I think the caller should come with beadlocks. What it comes down to, and this is why not all companies put beadlocks in their trucks, is budget, okay? Even plastic beadlocks, cost more money so it all comes down to budget um, Rob sells this truck for 320 US dollars okay <laughs> would okay I'm gonna ask you guys would you buy this now I know you, there's only so much you can see but would you buy this or would you buy gen 8 honestly you let me know in the comments what would you buy this is $20 more than gen 8 what would you buy? That's the thing though, I'll be willing to pay more. The, the, the SU4C is epic. If you're thinking about getting a cross truck, go and look at the SU4C. So far we've got cross, we've got cross again. I. It's just, for me, it's a no-brainer. This, this thing's just heaps nicer. The the suspension feel. Can you guys see how smooth that is? Um, like, is this coming across? It is just sound bloody sensational. But for the extra $20, I'll be all over that cross. That, the suspension alone is worth the extra money. You can do that all day. It's <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, let's have a look here. Accept, minimise, get rid of all those notifications. Uh, we're looking for uh, the... Where's the RTR? FR4 series. I want to see what essentially the box weighs, and it'll give you a good idea. It's hard to tell, man. It's not crazy heavy. It's not crazy light either at the same time. Like I say, it's balanced more towards the front, obviously. Motor sits up the front. Electrics are up here. Battery sits in the middle. Um, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's an additional. Oh, Robert, you haven't got it on there. If you want to know what it weighs, or what the box at least weighs, talk to Rob. I, I don't know. It'd have to be. It's lighter than the Gen 8, which I don't mind. It's just delightful. Honestly, it's delightful. When, without a battery in it, the rear probably feels a smidge light, but then you, you've got a counter in. By the time you put the body on with its little spare tyre cover on the back, 
By the time you put your battery in the middle, that sort of pushes more more to the back, but not too much. It's just such a well thought out chassis. So, can this RTR be upgraded with the SU4C hard body and interior? Yes. This is one of the best things about this truck, okay? You can easily change this truck to that truck to wherever my other one is. You can change it to this truck. Easily done. The chassis is essentially the same. There's just a few minor changes here and there. But you, you can you can make it the SP4C, which is the um, the, the, the ute version or the truck version, depending where you're from. Uh, honestly, though, if, if coolers came standard with bead locks, I would fully be prepared to pay the extra. Look, honestly, a lot of us would be, but generally speaking, what happens when a company builds a truck like this is they say, okay, we want this truck to retail this much money. Let's do everything we possibly can and send it out the door with as much on it as we can for the money, if that makes sense. You get to a point where you've got to say, okay, we'd like to put bead locks on it, but it's just not viable. It's going to cost too much money and put us over that budget that we're, we're aiming for. I mean, in my mind, this truck is to go against the Gen 8 and the, the Sport, I guess, any cheap versions of the SCX-10, that sort of thing. t man, I, I don't know why you buy anything else. And I know I love my cross stuff, but this is this is just honesty. Like, you, even the, the, the feel of the plastic. Go to your, go to your local hobby shop, let Johnny keep it. <laughs> no, we're giving it away, man. I want to give it away to one of you guys. Um, you go to your local hobby shop, and if they stock cross trucks, Feel the quality of these plastics and then feel the stuff on the Gen 8. There's a certain graininess to the Gen 8 that just it lets you know that a good hit's going to break that plastic. Um, they, they're supposed to. We're gonna, let's smash a battery in it. Let's smash a battery in it. So here's our controller. Let me just sit this gorgeous body on it. I love that blue. Oh my god, we have to buy one of these for myself. Thanks, David. Now I'm going to buy myself one because look at that gorgeous blue. Ooh. It's so pretty. Okay. So this is our controller. Now, it's an RTR truck. We don't expect much from an RTR controller. The most important thing. Is it comfortable? It's not bad. It's 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 it shapes nicely enough for your hand to sort of you know your, your thumb sits in the side there and you, you like this. It's it's not bad. Um, okay, I'm missing some comments here. Headlights, yes, but tail lights, no, in the RTR, but you can add them. Well, you know, I haven't even you haven't even ran yours yet. Send it to me, Angus. I think overall quality, fit, and finish is more important than beat locks. Yes. Exactly right. Steering links do not touch tires. Okay. Uh, hexes correct size. Okay. Two for sense or not so. Okay. I like the black bumpers. I don't mind them. I'm not huge on. You guys just know I like my chrome. Another bonus, you can just go to Cross RC US buy a chrome bumper for these if you want to change them to chrome. That easy and they're cheap. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, this is obviously going to be a basic radio. Nice spring in the steer. That's important to me. If your steering's too light, it takes away feeling of what the truck's doing. I know that probably sounds dumb to some people, but that's just what I'm like. <clears throat> that's my only sort of argument with my GT5. It's the spring's too light. I don't know if I can get a, a beefier spring, but... I mean, obviously, we've got our fake little wheel on there because that's cute and that's what all companies do. Uh, steering dual rate. You'll notice from factory, it is not cranked up to flat out. That's good. Has this got... Okay, so this comes with... This comes with 
dog bones. For $25 US dollars, you can put CVDs in this tray, which will let you have more lock without stress of breaking anything. There's a little dog. Now, I'm going to show this in detail because I want to be sure whoever wins this fully understands everything I'm saying. And I'm, I'm not taking the piss. It's just dual rates on trucks is something that a lot of people don't understand. And they, they break stuff on their truck and then they blame the truck for it. You see that dial there? That is your steering dual rate. You'll notice from factory it's not cranked all the way up. Okay? I'm purposely now going to crank it. Holy shit, that went a long way. <laughs> Look where it sits now. That is full, give me everything steering. Okay, so that was that was set just over half. So I'm going to leave that about where it was set. For when we plug it in. Don't just crank that knob all the way up. Because you're just going to break your dog bones. Alright? And if you break your dog bones, because you set your endpoints too far, unfortunately for yourself... There's only one person to blame, and that is yourself. There's a lot of people in groups that break dog bones in trucks, whether it's a cross or something else. Oh, this truck shit. The axles break. Sorry, mate, but if you don't set your endpoints properly, that's that's all on you. This truck actually comes with bump stops on it. So pay attention. Let me show you. This stuff I find important because this saves anyone down the track complaining if they break something I can simply say just go back mate watch this video and you'll see why you broke it uh, I'll see you straight Christopher I want to say it's Christopher right I guys have to go get my kids some lunch catch you later no worries buddy thank you very much for stopping by okay will you just sit there for me you will lovely okay so back to my to my close-up cam and this is why this is why we have these extra camera views hopefully that will focus right in here please camera Just focus here it's not cooperating just here on the front of the div there is a little um a bump stop so when your truck steers it's hard to do this with the truck on the side without knocking it over when your truck steers it will purposely stop the steering itself so it doesn't go too far. Okay? When these trucks first came out, they didn't have bump stops. And it's not just the RTR. It was the Demon in general. When the truck first came out, people would build the truck and they would go, Hoo! crank the steering to flat out. And with dog bones, the cup would catch on the axle and just snap it. Now, you can instantly tell straight away if someone snapped one from overturning their steering. You can, you can tell them like that. There's no, oh no, it, you know, it just broke when I was driving in a straight line. It's not possible. The only way you can break those is crazy hard lock and floor in it, and it'll catch on the cup and just snap everything in half. I'm saying that. Now, I bought my SR4, which is another version very similar to this, um, with a broken axle and a broken knuckle. It cost me $10 for a complete axle housing that's the whole diff housing with the knuckles either side and I put CVDs in it which I think was yeah, $25 for the CVD so it's not expensive to fix it so if you see a truck go up for sale because it's got broken axle buy it you can get it cheap it's cheap to fix and you know how to prevent it from breaking oh, bastards. so the control like I said control is nice takes four batteries I believe Says underneath, four AA batteries required. Good. You can't screw that up. I don't mind it. It's not the prettiest radio, but it's not ugly either. It's it's honestly comfortable to hold. I like that. And it's got a nice little cross badge just there. Now somewhere here, in one of my drawers of many things, I have some batteries. What does everyone think? If you wouldn't mind, can we see the body again? Of course. Oh, it'd be my pleasure. First, we're going to smash a battery in it. And then we'll plug the lights in. Make sure all that's working as it should. Of course, if there's something that's not working as it should, that'll be rectified before anyone gets to the truck. And people need to remember too, if you've got, if you've got trucks that are mass-produced, every now and then, you're going to get a truck with perhaps a light that doesn't work or... 
you know, a screw that wasn't quite done up tight enough or something like that. I want to do this without shooting the battery out everywhere. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I can't leave these batteries in when we ship it because people get a bit funny about it. Just got here. What's the truck? This is the next giveaway. It is. It's the Cross RC. I've got to put that one in first. Cross RC FR4 RTR. Okay. That's in there. Lovely. Hold your mouth right, mate. There we go. That's in there. Two lights on top. Awesome. Um, right. Full size LiPo pack. Uh, 5200 2S. I'm more of a kit guy. Uh, but maybe my youngest boy's first rig. I love kits. I do. I love kits. Every now and then, there's something nice about just getting an RTR. Okay. That's why I got the Gen 8. There's something nice about getting an RTR. The bonus, I guess, too, Adam, is... Uh, Ryan's got to go. No worries, mate. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, thing and such and, and stuff and things. What was I saying? I can't remember. We'll come back. Oh, uh, you're talking about the kits versus RTO. So... I know it's nice to build a kit, etc., and so on. A bonus with something like this is, you can say, okay, young fella, or yourself, you can call yourself young fella and buy yourself a truck if that's what works. Um, you buy the truck and say, okay, I know it's an RTR, but what I'm going to do down the track is put a hard body on it, maybe some 155s, you know, full interior, because when you change things around, you can move the battery tray into the back and then you can put the SU4C or the SP, for whatever, you can change it to a hard body. Full interior, scale it out, go nuts. So, this is one of the things I love about the Demon chassis. There's a lot of options immediately. You know, it's not, <clears throat> oh, okay, I've got my chassis. I now have to print 15 things so that I can mount a body that cost me $120. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Full-size LiPo goes in there with room to move. So you can fit a bigger pack than this in it. This pack will run this truck for at least three hours. At least. Alright. Strap her in. Now I assume this has been bound. Make sure your truck's turned off. Plug your battery in. I love that it's got Dean's plug. Just love it. Radio on. Truck on. I've got to change that AC. I forgot. As as it comes, you've got forward, brake, reverse. Okay, I'll do this again. Forward, brake, reverse. If you drive forwards and let your finger off and then hit reverse, nothing happens because technically you're on the brake. Then you go reverse. It can be handy, but honestly, you don't need that. There's a pin here. It's not the LiPo pin, it's the one above it. Take that out. Okay, I'm not just going to take it out because otherwise I'll forget to put it in the box or something stupid. Take that pin out. Actually, no, tell you what. Tell you what. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to... I'm going to... We've also got this bag of goodies. Okay? We've got a bind plug. We've got the wheel wrench, a couple of Allen keys. I'm going to put that little plug in this bag. And I'll show you why. Take that out. Okay. So now, I'll just turn it off and on again just to make sure it's happy. Lovely. Put this bag back in there. Okay, so now, we just go forwards, backwards. Okay. How smooth is that for an out-of-the-box truck? Show me your Gen 8 doing that. I'm sorry, but you can't, because it won't. I know that because I've got one. It's... 
If you want a budget RTR, this is what you do. Should we check the grease? Yes. I'll check the grease. I'll pop the rear diff cover off in a second and check what it's like. Now, I would expect, because it's an RTR, it will have a, a little bit of grease in it. And it'll be white lithium grease. I will personally put some of my King Chrome grease in. This is what I use in all my trucks. I will personally add a smidge to that, to here. I'll open up the gearbox. I'll open up the trans. I will double, triple, ultra, mega check everything on this truck so that you know that all you have to do is plug it in and drive it. Because I've checked it. If something breaks on it, you can complain to me and I'll buy the part that fixes it for the first week. Okay, this doesn't last forever. <laughs> it's so quiet. It's so quiet. The servo's a little noisy. But I mean, it's an RTR servo, who cares? I reckon that'd be fine for an RTR. What do you think about the smoothness? Oh, I love these trucks. Whoever wins this truck is one lucky bastard, okay? Uh, good advice, can you do that on Traxxas TRX4 Sport? Can you do what, sorry? Oh, can you, can you get rid of the brake? The Traxxas has got crawl mode. Crespo's subscribed. Thanks for, for the subscription, mate. Very much appreciate it. Um, the TRX4 has a crawl mode. I believe you, turn, you push the power button, hold it, until it starts flashing lights, okay? And then it'll flash once, and then it'll flash twice, and then it'll flash three, and it gets to five, and then I think you push it again, or you let go, one of the two. You'll have to look it up. Set it to crawl mode, and I think that changes that. Are they that smooth, the TRX4? Oh. It's a toss-up, man. TRX4 and low gear. Very close. Very close. I, I'm just... I'm feeling really generous. If... I'm already... Obviously, I'm already smashing the bead locks on it, and I've said I'll put a... I'll, I've said I'll put a... Yeah, racing servo in it. Uh, Dragon Monster, thank you. My pleasure. The TRX4 is smooth. I'm not going to take away from that. The TRX4 makes the Gen 8 look terrible. This, this compared to the TRX4, it's, I'll tell you what, it'd be hard to, hard to say which is smoother, honestly. Hard to say which is smoother. If you put a year racing motor in this truck, it'll make the TRX4 look cheap. As far as smoothness goes. Honestly, I kid you not. I put one of the, the year racing motors. For those wondering what I'm talking about. These, just climb. Okay? Get them. They are epic. They only like 2S. But that's all you need because crawlers, slow, crawl. <laughs> okay? Get one of these motors. They're epic. Especially for TRX4s. I put a 16 turn, I think it is, in my TRX4. My God. So much better than factory. Uh, I still have a brand new stock TRX4. Look, TRX4 is a good truck, man. It's, it's, I've got nothing against TRX4. It's a good truck. The only thing I don't like about the Gen 80 is it's not refined enough. It's too noisy. The steering link hits the tyres. You know? So there's a few little things. This is the truck to buy between the Gen 8 and the... And the between this and the Gen 8. By far. It's just, you look at it straight out of the box and you go, okay, it looks better quality. It's got better fit and finish. I need a drink. How's my print going? 3% to go. Ooh. Jerry, I hate my Gen 8. I can make a giant list. <laughs> if anyone from Red Cat watches this, grab a pen and paper. Um... Look, oh, the sport's going to be just the same. There's going to be, like, zero difference, if I'm honest. <clears throat> it's, I don't see that you're going to drive a TRX4 Sport and a TRX4 Standard and go, oh, my God, it's so much better. Um, at some stage, I will sell my Gen 8 because I'm just not attached to it at all. I'll do a giveaway with it. 
At some stage, I will. I'm I'm enjoying putting fancy bits on it and making it a nicer chassis. Once I finish doing that, um, I'll give it away probably. Uh, yeah, the transmission will be different. Um, Mike, but as, as far as how it drives, it's going to be pretty bloody similar. Uh, Dennis, I'll give Recap the benefit of the fact that the Gen 8 is their first... Look, the Gen 8 for their first truck is pretty bloody good. It could have been a lot better with just a few little, just ever such minor things. And it's stuff like the steering link, and that's my biggest gripe with it. The steering link. Um, it shouldn't touch the tyre. They, they sent these trucks out and had people test them. Why didn't anyone pick up on it? You know? Oh, that's a mile away. That simple. <laughs> like, how do you not pick up on that? So, what's the advantage of the SU over the SG? The S, the SU is newer. It's got newer shocks, like with different coils. Um, it's got a full SUV style hard body instead of the cage back. I mean, if you prefer the cage back, by all means, get the SG. But the SU is newer. You get more for your money, especially given the BCRC discount applies to the SU and not the SG. So you get seventy US dollars off. That's a, uh, Hans. That's essentially your postage from Robert to us. So you buy a truck for free postage. It's a, it's a no-brainer for me. If I if, if when I got my demon, there was the demons that are out now, I would have got the SU instead of the SG. But I mean, that's why I've got so many demons. <laughs> they just keep coming out with more, and I'm like, oh, I have to have it. Honestly, whoever wins this truck, man, you're lucky. My print's finished. Oh, so much quieter in here. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. I know I say that a lot, I mean, for good reason. What do you think of this? Is there anything you want to see? Unless your wife chooses the SP for it. If your wife chooses the SP for it, buy some flowers. Because she picked a, she picked a bloody an RC truck. Okay, that's something. There's a lot of people's wives out there that go, you're not buying more RC, are you? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what did you print? A fan cover for my the little the little fan just here on the print. It's just fan cover for just here. The the top of the fan's like straight up and down. So I want to see uh, see that SU for RTR. There's no such thing. This is the only RTR at the moment, um, and I mean it's just gorgeous. You've also got metal diff trusses as well. Metal servo plate. I'll change the servo horn for you too. There's a plastic servo horn on here. I'll put a metal one on it. I'll drop, when I first go out and drive it and film it, because that's, for those that don't know, that's what Dave, um, that's what Dave said for me to go and do. I've, I've used the, all the, this, I'm, I'm going to drive it bone stock. I'm not going to touch or change anything. Turn that off. That's one bloody gorgeous truck. Thank you again, David. Seriously. Uh, just noticed you set up your 3D printer. Yes, sir. Set it up last night. Um, it took me probably... Probably a bit over an hour to build it. And that's only because the instructions are a bit shite, if I'm honest. Instructions are a bit shite. Oh, the lights... I'm being so gentle with this body. <laughs> if it was my truck, I'd be like, she's fine, don't worry about it. Thank you, dogs. So, make sure I plug this in correctly. That goes in that way. So I can hold my bloody mouth right. Yes. That goes in there. And then this plug goes positive, which sides are positive. On the back of these little light boards, 
there's actually a positive and a negative tells you which side's which so that you don't fry your lights okay <coughs> Plug this back in. I don't want to scratch the body. That can just that can just sit there for now. Turn that on so she doesn't race off the bench. The bright. The 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 bright. Cross may have up to the power of their globes because the ones I'm sure in my FR4C aren't that bright. There you go. So you got your front lights, obviously there's no back lights. You can change that, you just get the, the light kit for the... Um, isn't it gorgeous? That blue is just stunning. I'll be taking photos and putting on the page. Um, of those yellow tinted lights. These are um, orange lenses for the marker lights. Cross has always put in lights in their trucks that aren't just pure white lights. They are slightly yellowed. The ones in this, even more so. Cross likes to put lights in their truck that suit the age of the truck, if that makes sense. So these lights, as you can see, they're not just pure bright white. They're definitely brighter than the ones in my other one. So there you go. Cross Artia. Bloody gorgeous. If you want an RTR truck, people, this is what you buy. You don't buy a Gen A, you buy this. Sorry, but it's true. It's it's gorgeous. It's, you can. I know the Gen A can be stretched and whatever else in the wheelbase. Who cares, really? The majority of people are going to have a three thirteen mil wheelbase max. The majority. This is three hundred five. It's not hard to add um, spaces with these cross cell spaces that you can put in the. Um, you can put in to extend it, and you can put whatever 315 body you want on it, but I don't know why you want to. Look at that pretty, pretty body. Oh, I love the crossbody. I reckon it's brilliant. Check that out, would you? What a gorgeous truck. So, how's that for a reveal? Bloody epic. Um... If I had my stuff here, I'd show you how to remove paint from the windows. I did order some on eBay last night, and I smashed the quickest possible delivery time. Um, Adam, I'd buy that before any RTR in the price range. It looks fantastic. Honestly, it is. It's just... I, mean, I know I love cross trucks, and it's for a good reason. People can doubt me all they like. Oh, you're just saying that because you love the trucks. I mean, there's got to be a reason that I love the trucks, people. <laughs> like... Look at it. It's just such a pretty truck and I'm looking at it like it's the first time I've ever seen a demon before like, like I've got four demons here but like, I'm just staring at this like I have to have this truck <laughs> at some stage I'm going to buy myself one now I know they come in grey as well I don't know I mean I don't like the look of the grey personally but I sort of almost get the feeling that if I seen it in person I would because I didn't I wasn't much on the blue either but now I've seen the blue in person, well, this is gorgeous. And that suspension. So good. Uh, sorry, I'm shining the lights in everyone's faces. Uh, I got one then, it was just, I love them. That, and that's what it's like. It's, uh, careful if you buy a cross truck, okay? They're addictive. It's easy. It's easy to get a cross truck and find yourself going. I don't think one's enough. I think, I think I'll get the SP four as well. Oh, that GC four looks nice. It's not. A, it's not a bad thing to have one company pump out so many different trucks. I mean, Cross probably makes the largest range of trucks out of any crawler company out there. You, you got. The Mammoth, HC6, HC4, GC4, um, UC6, KC6, four, five demons, the PG4, PG4L. Oh, good news, everyone. Good news. 
I spoke to Cross yesterday. They, they are still making the PG4. Now, they did say it's not very popular. And I went, wah. Buy PG4s, okay? Buy those as well. Seriously, they're such a gorgeous truck and value for money. I can't stress it enough. I don't want to see the PG4 disappear. Buy one for me. I mean, when I say that, I mean, don't, you don't have to send it to me. Buy one for yourself, for me. Because I don't want to see the PG4 disappear. I really don't. I'm still going to get the PG4 from Rob, and I'm going to, I'm going to work on putting this, this forward motor mount set up in a PG4, and I'm going to, now that I've got the printer, I'm possibly going to try and design an interior for the PG4, and I'm going to say across, here, this is, please make this, because this is what the PG4 needs to be. They're an addiction. Bob, I was addicted from the first time you frog. <laughs> I want that farm truck, dude. GC4. This is, I keep going on about cross trucks, and it's for good reason. I get a Gen 8, right? Now, you guys know, we've all done it. You buy an RC, and before, as soon as you click buy it, what do you do? Hey, babe, I just ordered a truck, and it's going to be here in a week. Well, yeah, and you run around for the whole week like a two-year-old that's on a sugar high because you just can't wait to get your truck, right? Ordered the Gen 8. Okay, it's going to be here when it gets here. Honestly, didn't give a shit. And it is so... Sad to buy a truck and not care when it turns up. And I, I know it was because of the weight and everything else, but it was just, I just didn't care. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm enjoying making the truck better. I'm enjoying making it a nicer chassis. But I think once I've, once I've sort of added all the bits that I want to add, my Gen 8's most likely going to be one of the giveaway trucks. So... If you like to look at my Gen 8, it could well be yours in the future. <laughs> because I'm just not attached to it at all. It's, it's, it's like a car. Don't just buy a car. Buy a car that means something. You have to be attached to it. You've got to love your car. My, my Gen 8 sat unpainted for a month. And I guarantee you, you didn't care, did you? You're like, oh, shit happens, I'll get around to it. I know there's lots of people out there that that love Gen 8s. I know there's lots of people out there that perhaps only have a Gen 8. To those people, I suggest you get one of these, compare it to your Gen 8, and then tell me how much you love both trucks. Um, Jerry, mine is still unpainted because I don't care enough. <laughs> and I'm not, I, I'm not trying to shit on Gen 8s. For anyone that watches this, I've got one over there. It's already got a lot of money parts on it already, and I've got more coming. I don't know why, but I've got more stuff coming. I think, honestly, I think the reason I'm putting stuff on that truck is to show you guys what you can get for your truck. I've done it before with trucks. There's so many parts that I've bought that have cost me a fortune just to show you guys. <laughs> but, <clears throat> Bob, I've got a honcho that never built and sold it untouched. <laughs> I mean, without sounding rude about axials, the honcho was just just another SCX-10. I, I, nothing against SCX-10s. Got one sitting over there, somewhere behind me. But I still have to turn that skid plate around because apparently I put it on back front. That's what happens when people donate and you get confused and you don't know what's going on. But I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful to David Foster. Everyone give Dave a round of applause. Three cheers for Dave in the chat because to make a donation of this this size is just epic, mate. And you're like you you messed around zero. You're like, I want to donate a truck. Can you get me in touch with Rob and we'll get her organised? Yep, got you in touch with Rob and you're like done. It's on the way. I was gobsmacked. You know, I said to Hannah, I, I cannot believe how nice people are out there. You know, between. The donations you guys give to the group. I mean, Christian donating the MO5. Dave's come in with the bloody... <clears throat> Dave's come in with this. It's just... You guys are epic. Seriously. And this pushes me to do more and more. To give you guys better streams, bigger giveaways and all that sort of thing. So, if you do decide to donate, rest assured it's going to good things. Okay? Upgrades for giveaways and even that sort of thing. So... How did your print turn out? 
Pretty good. That's going to be well stuck, though. Yep, the first one was well stuck. Looks pretty good. I'll put up some photos in the group to show us how it looks. I'll bolt it to the... I'll bolt it to the little fan. You can't see what I'm pointing at. I'll bolt it to the little fan piece and show you where it goes. I'd move the camera over there, but it doesn't go that far. So, one cross FR4 RTR. Should you buy one? Yes, honestly. It is just gorgeous. I know I love my cross trucks, and the reason I keep going on about this is I want people out there that haven't got a cross or haven't had one before to understand that I'm saying to you, spend your money on this because it is worth the money. It is a beautiful bit of equipment, okay? It might not climb 80 degrees. That's a reference to a video I don't like, but anyway, it might not climb 80 degrees. It might not descend vertical drops, because no truck will. <clears throat> but whatever you do with this truck, it'll look damn fine doing it, I'm telling you. Do yourself a favor, go and check out all the w's.crossrc.us. Robert Mazza. There's a guy in BCRC called Robert Mazza. Message him. Tell him I sent you. I don't know if it'll help. Tell him I sent you anyway. Um, tell him you've seen this truck. You want to buy one, etc. and so on. Go through the cross page. Have a look at the <clears throat> have a look at the FR4 options. Roof cage, snorkel. Dave's gonna Dave's gonna send this, a snorkel out for this person, and the rear tail light things. Which Dave again above and beyond. Roof cage, snorkel, the light bar is only $15, plugs into the back of your, your lights that are already here. It's just buy one. What else can you say? Is it the same? Uh, yeah, it's exactly the same. Yes. Oh, there's a battery in there that's not strapped down. It is, it is demon running gear underneath. just let me just stop killing my life eh? <clears throat> I mean it's even got there's two metal mounts here they're the mounts for a demon cab okay demon cab bolts on there and bolts to the bumper the mounts are already there they're screaming throw it when I say demon I mean the SG um, can't be faulted bloody gorgeous value for money it's just there uh, what like I'm staring I was hoping for a plastic one a plastic um, skid plate for those wondering the skid plate's metal you were hoping for a plastic skid plate why How long have we been streaming for? An hour and a half. Tell you what. Can I reach those? I know I can reach the top ones. I'm going to pop the rear diff open. And see what we're like for grease. If I can get this driver in here. It's a bit of a tricky spot to grab there. Why do you want a plastic one? Oh, this has also got the chassis stiffener kit in it already too. For those wondering that have had previous demons. I'm winning. It's just a slow bolt to get out this one, sorry. I'm just going to check the rear diff for how much grease it's got. I mean, I can undo some links and just twist the diff around, but if I don't have to, I won't. Yes, it does. Yep. So the original, the original SG Demon when it came out, didn't have any bars across the middle of the chassis. For those that are wondering, this is what uh, Mike and I are talking about here. Didn't have any bars across the chassis, and the the link mount points, if you were hard on them, would bend. Um, so Cross designed a chassis stiffener kit that just goes in between it. They sussed out that there was an issue. They fixed it. So versions after that came out with the chassis stiffener kit so that that wasn't an issue there's one bolt out this one will be a bit quicker and easier i 
eight bolts that are in the diff on the, in the back of a div. Doesn't matter what truck it is, I hate them. I think that's far enough. Bring this round. I made a cover. I made a cover that pops over the stiffeners that fixes the problem. What problem? I don't know what you're talking about, um, Mike. Who um, who watched the the giveaway? Belly, your belly drag, mate. Different lines, different lines. I, I, I can honestly say I've never had any of my demons caught up in the guts, and that doesn't matter whether I'm driving down at the beach or I'm up the bush or. As different as we get, get conned up when I belly drag. But low ride, mate. That's what makes Cross good. They listen to the customers. They do. Cross is always striving to make to make their, their trucks better all the time. There's there's cross trucks that have been <clears throat> designed a long time ago that haven't been released yet. Stay tuned. That's all I can say. But rest, rest assured, Cross is always trying to, you know, do better stuff all the time. We used to get caught on the stiffeners, but they're round. Well, I'm pushing it, Dave. I'm pushing it. I don't know if they're out far enough yet. Are they out far enough? No, I think that bolt's still attached. <laughs> Winning. Wrong bolts. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Which means if those bolts are that long, these ones are definitely still connected. Jagged edge terrain. You have to come wheeling over here, mate. You're just going to have to come wheeling over here. Best wheeling spot in the world. One more. And then we're going to see how much grease is in the div. Like I said, it's an RTR truck, so I'm expecting a little bit of white lithium grease. That's generally what all companies do. As long as there's some in there. Some's better than none. I can see white lithium grease on the gears. There's not much in there. But there is white lithium grease. Just tried to cancel one of my orders to donate, but it was already shipped. <laughs> it's alright, dude. It's alright, man. I appreciate you guys being here and putting up with my crap. Listening to my shite. That grease in everywhere all around the bearings and such too around the gears lovely brilliant wicked <clears throat> uh, I wish I would make plastic insert to go in the stock one instead of the stiff set, no bars. I know what you're saying. You sort of wish there was like a flat, a flat tray where they could sort of go into. Um, maybe I can design one for you. What did you say you design one? Uh, brain fart city. Uh, bought the, bought the tracks to try them out. See if they can climb. A, oh god. <laughs> see if they can climb eighty degrees. Let me know how they go, man. Let me know how your tracks go with 80 degrees and vertical drops. Because apparently that's a prerequisite of a good truck or not. You has to be able to do that stuff. 
Okie dokie. Just a smidge more. Look at that grease random there everywhere, getting it in the like I said in the bearings and the the gears, making sure I've got good cover but not too much. Lovely. That's good. <clears throat> and I just wanted to try them and see because their trailer was something. <laughs> That's how they get you, man. That's how they get you. Hey. Let's make a really good trailer. Someone's going to buy it. <clears throat> you got to be able to get those steep descents or the truck's not worth a shot. In, inside joke. Inside joke. <clears throat> All of the steep. All of the steep. <laughs> oh, dear. So who's pumped up? Who's pumped for this bloody truck? Who wants to win it? I do. Such a pretty colour. Made an aluminum one. Oh, okay. Yep, I know what you mean. Makes a god horrible noise whenever it scratches anything. And probably gets caught up more than more than you'd like it to. Because it's aluminum and it doesn't want to slide very well. Lovely. The blue is calling my name. Now I guess you guys can see why Dennis says I've declared myself the winner, send it to me. <laughs> um, can you guys see why I get excited about cross trucks? Can you see why I want to give, do more donations? It's just the best thing ever. Jack of all trades, I came in so late, I don't know what we're working on. Uh, I'm sure it'll be nice to have kind of waiting I'm kind of waiting on another giveaway winky face well what we're working on is the giveaway this particular truck is the cross RC FR4 RTR and it's it's our next giveaway this is going to be given away next nothing else before it um, I already put it in there, you dope. So yeah, this is the giveaway. I suggest at some stage you go back and watch this stream from the start. You get all pumped up like the rest of us did when we took this bad boy out of the box. I bolted in a bastard of a spot to do without taking links off. Probably won't be entering seeing as I have two cross got to be found it's up to you man if you want to enter enter I'm, I'm not going to stop anyone from entering maybe except for Robert Golan because he wins everything <laughs> joking everyone can enter it's up to you if you've already got like if you've already got a few um, cross trucks and you think to yourself I won't enter because I've already got cross trucks and I'd like someone else to win one that's awesome of you good on you I might enter no I'm joking I'm not going to Oh, Hans, I can't answer that, man. There's just so many that I'm so passionate about for different reasons that I can't just have one favourite. Or, you know, I mean, the, as far as the ultimate sort of cross truck goes, well, technically the Mammoth is the ultimate cross truck. It's the, the bee's knees of everything. It just it kicks ass everywhere it goes. Kicks ass sitting on the shelf. That's how good the Mammoth is. But... It's just, I, I, I love all of my cross trucks and I love them all for different reasons. Like, when when Rob said to me he thought that, um, he thought that they stopped making the PG4, I was really upset. And I was like, no, no, don't stop making them. I love those trucks. Um, so I'm really happy to find out that they're, they're not stopping them. Just we need more people to buy PG4s. 12, 
Nearly two hours. Okay, jokes. Now, I know 1500 sounds like a lot. When you stop and look at what you get for your money, it's legit cheap. I shit you not. You just, you just have to stop and look at what you get. Did you know that when you buy a mammoth, you get... You get a set of cross tools with it. You can't even see those. You get a set of cross tools with your mammoth. You get the sound kit. You get a speaker. Um, that, that, that PG4 that's on the cross website's mine. Okay. I dibsed it and it's mine. Don't try and buy it. I jump through this phone. It's a phone. I'm not using a phone anymore. I jump through this stream. I'm straying here. You get, uh, yeah, the PG, yeah. Um, honestly, dude, the, the PG, you get the flagship version because for the extra money, you, you better off just getting the flagship, which has upgraded everything. You got eight 2.2 metal bead locks. Go and buy a couple of sets of bead locks that are 2.2s, full blown heavy metal, and see what it costs you. And then buy the tyres, see what it costs you. You buy a full hard body. That's well, the hard body itself is this long and as detailed as the cross is. Full light up dashboard. <laughs> you know, there's just so many things with the cross truck that I know people look at the mammoth and go, That's too expensive. It's not, it's cheap. Well, it's not cheap, it's good value for money. You get a lot of truck for your money. So, there she is. Oh, I won't plug that back in yet. This is, this is the next giveaway for those who joined late. Lucky bastards. The winner is going to have these wheels for them too. Okay. I'm going to strap those on there. Just bought the last PG4. You wish, buddy. Rob already knows he's not allowed to sell it. <laughs> as soon as he told me he had one left, I was like, it's mine. I'm having it. So... Yeah, I'm buying another PG4 at some stage. I just couldn't help myself. I just, I love them. Like I said, the PG4 is the only truck that lives in the BCRC garage. Everything else lives on shelves. It's just a special, special truck. I love it. Nice try, Dennis. <laughs> I'm going to refresh my view count because it doesn't move for a while. Um, I will say, give the, give the stream a like. I want to see minimum 14 likes on this stream, okay? Give it a like, give it a share. Uh, should you want to donate, there's a description, there's a description. I want to see 15 likes, at least. There's a link in the description, should you want to donate. That goes back into posting this stuff out, um, upgrading some of the giveaways. For those that don't know, oh, for those that joined late, for those that joined late, Element contacted me last night. Got my details. Hopefully they're going to... Um, I'm waiting to hear back now with just the final final costs, etc. Bugger. I was hoping that was there. Anyway, um, with the final costs, etc. So we can pay for the trucks and get them sent. Now, 